Are you wondering where the best places in the city are to let your four-legged furry friends let loose? Well, today I'm going to hit you with the top five off-leash dog parks in the ATX. So stay tuned. What's happening, everybody? Ian Grossman here, your realtor in Austin, Texas. Now, we all know that if you live in Austin, you need one of three things. You either need a beard, a tattoo, or a dog. Today, we're gonna focus on the third, those four-legged furry friends of ours, the ones that we like to take out to restaurants, take out to the park, get some exercise. And luckily, Austin is one of the most dog-friendly cities that I've ever been to. When I moved here, my dog was about eight years old, so he had a lot of experience socializing with people, socializing with other dogs, going out to the dog parks. I define the top spots to take Dre so he can go and make some new friends. So the list I'm gonna give you is not an ordered list, it's not a, a ranking. I figured it would be better to hit some different areas of town and give you one of my favorite spots in each of those areas. So let's start with right near downtown. Number one on the list is Auditorium Shores. If you lived here before about 2016, 2017, you could actually let do your dogs off the leash anywhere in Auditorium Shores, but they have cracked down big time on that and you really need to make sure that you stay in the gated dog section of Auditorium Shores because that's the actual off-leash spot. Um, as a matter of fact, quick story, I was out with a friend of mine, we both had our dogs running around, this is right when they changed the rules, and a cop walked up to him, his dog was closer to the, the police officer, and he got a giant fine. It was several hundred dollars for having his dog off leash. So any of the places I take, I tell you to go to today, make sure that you look at the signs, look at the rules to confirm that yes, your dog could be off leash. But Auditorium Shores is right near downtown, it's located off Riverside and South First Street. There is a giant off-leash area and the dogs can actually go in the water. So another thing to keep in mind, there have been issues with the water in Austin and dogs drinking the water and getting sick. So again, make sure to follow the signs, make sure that the water is healthy um, before you let your dogs go and run after tennis balls and drinking that water. But giant grass area, there's uh, several water fountains, which is a huge plus on the hot summer days, and water for the dogs to swim in, which is always nice for them to cool off. And if you don't want to hang out at the dog park, get them on the leash and walk the giant trail, the hike and bike trail, Lady Bird Lake. For number two, I'm going to take you a little bit more central. We're going to hit up Great Northern Dog Park. So one thing I love about this dog park is that it's located right off of Mopac. So you can get there pretty quickly if you're traveling south or north on Mopac and it's located in the Allendale neighborhood. There's actually a 10 acre off leash dog section, technically a drainage basin. It's maintained by the Watershed Protection Department. So after work, if you ever go down there, there's always tons of people, their dogs are running around off leash, chasing balls, frisbees, you name it. Again, the reason I like this place is that it is pretty centrally located and very easy to get to. For number three, we're gonna go a little bit further north because we don't wanna leave out our folks that live up in the north part of Austin or Pflugerville, Round Rock, Cedar Park. So this dog park is the Wells Branch Dog Park. So Wells Branch is a neighborhood that's located off of Wells Branch Parkway. It's right between I-35 and Mopac. Another reason I love this area because whether you're on the I-35 side or the Mopac side, it's easy to access. So at Wells Branch, in the neighborhood, there's about six miles full of trails, hike and bike trails. So if you're looking to just leash your dog up, take them on some on a nice walk through the neighborhood, um, through those trails. But then they have a giant off-leash area as well for your dogs to run roam freely. Um, again, I would say the location for those north people is the main reason why I chose the Wells Branch Dog Park as one of my top five. Number four, we're gonna take it way down south. Well, not way down south, but south of downtown. So when you get to Slaughter Lane, there's a park called Mary Moore Seawright Park. Mary Moore Seawright Park is several, several acres of park, green belt, um, trails, but there's actually a dog park at, it's right down the street, Mary Moore Seawright Metro Park. So this can actually be accessed off of South First Street. It's just south of Slaughter. It's on the north end of the giant park. 
and it actually has a 39 acre off-leash dog section. So those of you that live south, that need to get your dogs out, park somewhere where there's nice scenery, uh, nice greenery, water in many times of the year, head over to Mary Moore Sea Wright, um, but go to the Metro Park on South First, because that's where you want your dogs to be off-leash. And last, but certainly not least, my number five is gonna be the Wild Card. So this is just a park that you have to go check out if you have a dog and you live in the Austin area, Red Bud Isle Park. Red Bud Isle is located, it's kind of a peninsula on Lady Bird Lake. It's on the far west side of Lady Bird Lake, right before it turns, right before the dam where it turns into Lake Austin. So you go west of downtown on Lake Austin Boulevard, you turn left onto Red Bud Lane, and Red Bud Isle Park is right there. Great spot, again, make sure that the water is safe for the dogs to go into, for the dogs to drink, because this is a spot where you will find several dogs in the water. They have some little trails that go throughout um, the little park. It's a really, really cool spot. A lot of times in the nice, when the weather's real nice, parking is tough, but great views. You always see people kayaking, canoeing, paddle boarding on Lady Bird Lake. Just, a, just an awesome spot when it, on a nice hot day. Um, and maybe, you know, wear a bathing suit. You can jump in the water as well. Alrighty folks, there you have it. My top five dog parks that you need to hit up to bring Fido to when you are cooped up, you're sitting inside, you don't wanna go on another walk on leash, get that dog off leash, take them to one of these five parks. They're all accessible depending on where you live in the city. So get out there, you and your dogs will not be disappointed. Hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to smash that thumbs up, hit that subscribe button down low. If you have questions or if you have comments, if I left out a dog park that I need to, to hit up, make sure to leave a comment below and we'll catch you on the next top list.